Hey there, Larissa here from Beekeeping Made Simple, and this video is about the bee brush. It is a really simple tool, really cheap, but do you really need one? Is it necessary? What can you use instead of a bee brush? And I'll talk about whether I use a bee brush or not. So first of all, a bee brush looks like a dustpan brush, but the bristles are a little bit longer. And it is necessary to brush bees sometimes, but personally, I do not like the bee brush. I've used them before, and I will tell you, bees hate to be brushed. They will sting the brush, bristles of the brush, which, I mean, I kind of giggle at because you're like, oh, I mean, you can't sting the bristles, bees, but they try anyway, and their buzzing gets loud, and they hate it. So there are times, though, that you need to brush bees, and there are some things you can do instead of using your bee brush. Um, if you are going to buy a bee brush, at the very least, get one with softer bristles that's a little bit more expensive than the cheapest bee brush because the cheaper bee brushes have those nylon bristles and the bees absolutely hate them. Now, the one time you will need to brush bees or get to bees to move out of your way is when you want to see what's going on inside the cells of your honeycomb. Say you want to see if there's eggs in there or small larvae and there's a ton of bees in the way. So what you're going to do is blow on the bees. I have my frame right here. Say there's honeycomb on it and tons of bees and you want to see what's going on inside. If you just go, the bees will calmly get out of the way. Their buzzing doesn't get louder. They don't try to sting you. They just don't like your breath. Doesn't matter if you just brush your teeth before you went out to the hives. They don't like your breath. They will get out of the way. And you can see what's going on. And then they just slowly start to walk back over a couple seconds later. The second time you're going to need bees to move and you would possibly need to brush them is when you're harvesting honey or you know making a nuke splitting a hive you want the bees to get off your frame you just want to take the frame out of the hive and you want the bees to stay in the hive in those situations what you're going to do is pick up your frame hold it over your open beehive put your thumbs on the top of the frame your pointer finger underneath the ears of the frame and just go and bring it up and bring it down as fast as you can and stop really fast bees are going to go flying off the frame into the hive they don't come flying back at you they don't try to sting you they don't get really mad it happens really fast and short and sweet and no drama don't do it slow slower you do it the more you're going to annoy the bees and so the third time you're going to need bees to get off your frame is if you are say queen breeding and you don't want to shake the frame really hard because those queens are in their cells hanging on their heads um, you don't want to jostle the frame like that you don't even want to hold the frame upside down actually and the queen can potentially not be viable if you do that while they are in their queen cell and so in that case if you want to get the bees off of that frame for whatever reason what you're going to do is take a feather you can take a bee brush but a feather works way better this is a turkey feather you know i i find them in my neighborhood because we do have wild turkeys roaming the streets um but uh parrot feathers work well if you have a friend with like a macaw or one of those larger parrots um buy them this is kind of like a one-time use if you're doing something that's going to involve like honey harvesting or where these things are going to get coated in honey you can't really they don't wash very well but you just take the feather and you brush the bees off they don't get mad they don't try to sting it their buzzing doesn't get louder and they get out of the way and off the frame you just want to you know swipe them in the direction of the open beehive not just you know out into the open air i mean you can but it'd be nicer if you put them back into the hive if you found this video helpful please hit the thumbs up icon and if you want to be notified about new videos and when we go live please hit the subscribe button and then the bell icon we have an online beekeeping class where you can learn about all this stuff and more in one space check out the links below for all of our free resources our id guide to what is inside the hive, our beehive inspection checklist, our getting started guides, and more.